Good morning, ESM. I'm Bella. And I'm Abby. Today is Monday, October 26th, and today is a day four. Now on to news with Sophie. In news of this morning, Mark Short, Mike Pence's chief of staff, has tested positive for the coronavirus. Short did not travel to Florida with Pence this past weekend. A spokesman says that Short began quarantine on Saturday. Pence has not been quarantining and has not been tested since Short's positive test came in. Pence also did not wear a mask at his outdoor rally on Saturday. White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows claims that Pence is essential personnel and does not have to quarantine following this incident. In other news, with the steady uptick of positive cases and hospitalizations throughout the country, county and state officials remain on high alert. In Onondaga County, while the COVID-19 dashboard has not been updated yet, it seems to be clear that we are on track to have the highest number of new COVID cases in a calendar week since the pandemic began. Included in this is a high school student in both CNS and Liverpool High School and a teacher at Skinny Atlas High School, causing all three schools to close Monday. Additionally, the ESM school district was notified on October 25th that a staff member have tested positive at Pine Grove Middle School, resulting in four ESM students and three ESM staff members to be quarantined. However, according to Dr. Desiato, due to the fact that the necessary contact tracing, sanitizing, spraying, and disinfecting has been completed, regular school hours will resume as normal for all in person and remote learners that have not been placed into quarantine on Monday, October 26th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for that news, Elena. So today our show is all about dogs and how they have kept us sane during quarantine. Yes, both Abby and I have dogs, and they have been such a saving grace during quarantine. I know that mine have a funny way of taking my mind off the stress, usually by breaking something in the house and changing my focus to a different type of stress. Though we needed no proof that dogs have the ability to boost our moods, there have been quite a lot of research into the subject of dogs and how pets are making people happy and decrease their stress. They have a sort of calming effect on the person they are closest to. So even just petting your dog a couple of times a day is known to reduce your anxiety and stress dramatically. Cats and other pets do the same thing, but we love dogs more. Belle and I have two adorable, lovable, brat-like dogs. <laughs> yes. Many people do know that I refer to my dogs as my babies, even though to many people they look kind of big and scary, but I know that they're just squishies. In one of the pictures, you can even see that my bulldog was my main cuddle buddy after getting my wisdom teeth out. We will share some more funny stories about how they distracted us during quarantine after weather. Today we'll have occasional rain showers and cloudy skies all day. The highs are near 50. And tonight we'll see a few more showers with the lows near 40. Tomorrow will be cooler with some passing showers and highs in the upper 40s. Wednesday looks dry for the most part with some breaks of sun possibly developing in the afternoon. The highs are in the low to mid 50s. Thursday looks to be a bit brisk and cool with a chance of showers and highs around the 50. Friday will be windy and chilly with a few showers that are, gonna, that are gonna stay pretty steady throughout the day. And we might even see some snow in the higher terrain areas on Friday. Halloween this Saturday looks like it's gonna be pretty traditional conditions for trick-or-treating with a little bit of a chill and highs in the upper 40s. Sunday should warm up a little bit with a breeze and some sun and highs are in the mid to upper 50s. I'm Allie with your weather. So before we get into our story, the tweet 16 of words we never want to hear again is off to a really good start. On our Twitter Friday, 
respondents, overwhelming is for unprecedented times as the words you never want to hear again. Today's matchup feature, essential worker. Today's mashup, sorry, features essential worker, quarantine or quarantine 15, the little extra weight you put on while you're stuck inside. All right, so to start with our funny stories off, Bella, why don't you go first with your two babies? Yes, okay, so I have two puppies. Willis is an 11 month old English bulldog, and Otto is a one year old German shepherd. And uh, they're pretty interesting to say the least. They really are. They, uh, <laughs> Willis is the most high energy bulldog I've ever seen in my life, and he also loves baths. So, one of the ways that I typically deal with stress is by taking a nice hot bath, and Willis will try and climb in with you. He will. <laughs> so, that's what I kind of meant when, uh, <laughs> when I said he changes our stress to a different kind of stress. Um, How about you? How's your little one? Well, my beautiful two-year-old, who is also a brat, Penny, um, whenever I'm really stressed, or she can, like, I think she can sense that I'm angry, she'll love to come up and either annoy me, sleep next to me, or, like, whip her rope at me. She's hit me in the mouth multiple times. And like whenever she's super excited to see when I get home or if she's like happy to like people are like in the house because she's all alone like during days like this, she'll run into the wall and she'll like sit there for a minute and then she'll just run off. Oh, we love that. Yeah. All right, we're going to be sharing some interesting facts we've researched after sports with John. In upcoming games, the field hockey team is at home against Weedsport and boys soccer plays at CNS. The boys and girls cross country teams both beat Chittenango Saturday. The boys won 20-40 with Logan Michaels leading the team with a time of 19.07. The girls won 26-32 with Elena Vespi leading the team with a PR of 22.06. On Sunday Night Football, the Seattle Seahawks and Arizona Cardinals clashed in an overtime thriller with the Cardinals winning 37-34. Cardinals QB Kyler Murray had 427 total yards and four total touchdowns. And Seahawks wide receiver Tyler Lockett had 200 receiving yards and three touchdowns. With the Seattle Seahawks, there is now only one undefeated team left in the NFL, and that is the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> With their 27-24 win over the Tennessee Titans on Sunday, they improved to 6-0. Tennessee Titans... Tennessee Titans' Stefan Gutskowski missed a 45-yard field goal that halted the Titan comeback. After the most exciting game of the season on Saturday night, we saw the Los Angeles Dodgers win Game 5 4-2, as the Dodgers are one win away from being called the new World Series champions. Game 6 is Tuesday night, and I'm John with your sports. So what we have found was petting, hugging, and just physical contact with, in general with your animals helps calm and soothe those who are stressed. Most dogs can ease loneliness, decrease your depression if you have it, and are great stimulus to fit healthy exercise. So basically, your dogs can give you a reason to go on a walk and get some fresh air, which also tends to boost your mood. So when you get home today, or you're already home, make sure to give your dog or any of your pets a hug and show them affection. If you don't have a pet, that's okay. You could just give yourself a hug, breathe, and drink some water. <laughs> don't forget to have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.